welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Robbie, that was nice. Robbie's just saying hello. Um, and welcome back to the channel. So today is actually my last upload. I've got gloves on by the way. Um, before the beginning of Vlogmas, which is very exciting. I'm actually inside because if you don't know, if you live in England, I'm actually filming this the day before it goes up and there's a storm i can't remember what the storm's called and it's so windy and so cold hence i am like hat gloves all that rubbish but yeah it's freezing and it's horrible so i thought i'd film a bit more of a indoory video rather than going out and jumping and doing whatever so get some treats to bribe my horses with i thought with vlogmas fast approaching i thought i'd basically catch everyone up on everything that's gone on slash is going on my horses and everything before vlogmas starts just so if we've got any new subscribers they know what's going on and since i did my last like meet the horses video a lot has changed so i thought i'd talk you through everything Make sure everyone's up to scratch, basically. Ready for Vlogmas, ready for 25, maybe 30. We'll see how we go. Days of vlogging straight. So who knows how that's gonna go. Right, let's start. I'm on the home yard. So we've got Duncan and Robbie. If you don't know my setup, I have the two boys at home at the moment. And then literally across the road and down the bridge, we have the three girls who live over the road. Kira and Pixie share a barn with a partition down the middle just because Kira has separation anxiety, but I'll talk to you later about Kira. And then Phoenix has a stable over the road as well. But anyway, I'll get on to Robbie. Talk to you about Robbie. So I'm actually having to come in the stables to get out the wind because it's so windy. But this is Robbie, naughty Robbie. Now, if anyone knows us, Robbie is the naughty one. Now he's not awful, are you? You're not that bad. Pretending you're head shy. You're not head shy at all. Uh, ow! You just actually bit my finger. Bloody hell. Um, that hurt. Right. My finger is throbbing. You're so naughty. Yeah, this is naughty Robbie. Um, if you can see there, that is what he did this morning. When you were tied up on the yard for 20 minutes while I was mucking you and Duncan out. You wrecked the place. Anyway, yeah, so Robbie, we nickname Wreck It Robbie because you are just a bit of a thug, aren't you? It's really hurt my finger. Um, so Robbie is a four-year-old. He's bay, as you can see. He's actually a very overgrown Connemara. I actually measured him yesterday and he's about 15 two, 15 three. So you are a big lad for a Connie. You can have a treat, yes, but you've really hurt my finger. Go. Um, his show name is Clooney Noah, which before we got him, I didn't know his actual name, so I presumed his name was Noah and it's not, it's Robbie. So Robbie came to us, gonna go for about April and he hadn't been broken, hadn't really been touched. So he came to us to be broken. He has been broken, um, but we're still trying to get there with the jumping and stuff. He's just taking a bit longer but he was always bought to produce and sell so once he's up to scratch he will be sold um mainly because we don't want to be having five big horses full time and he was always to make money um unfortunately you've really hurt my finger i actually think you've cut off the circulation um because it's so cold it hurts more as well but yeah that is robbie robbie is staying with us for the foreseeable future but i can guarantee at some point there will be a goodbye robbie video because you are going eventually aren't you you're not like he's not treated any differently to the others he's not hated are you you're just quite annoying he's just a very cheeky gelding and i've never had a like i don't think i've ever had a gelding myself before i've always had mares he's just very different aren't you yes so that's the plan with Robbie, um, carry on taking him out for trips, taking him for lessons, getting him going with his jumping, and then you will be sold, won't you? You can have another treat. You will be sold because we don't want this many horses really. And if we did want this many horses, we'd want another eventer rather than you, which you're gonna make a lovely all-rounder for someone, aren't you? 
Yeah. Should we move on to the next pony? So I don't rabble for too long, because I will. So next up, I am going to actually try and stay outside, just because Duncan will probably put his head over and come and see me, won't you? Once he realises he has treats. I have treats, sorry. He will not leave. Oh, Duncan, smack the camera. Duncan, don't you bite my finger as well. Um, yeah, so this is Duncan. If anyone knows or has followed my channel, you will know that Duncan isn't actually mine. He's my mum's. Um, I've evented him a couple of times this season. And we there was a season, I think about three, four years ago now, um, I had him for a season and did all the pony club and everything on him. Now he, you're fun, aren't you? He's like a teenager's dream. He's so like whizzy when he jumps. Um, but you're a bit too much sometimes, aren't you? It's took my mum a long time to get her confidence with him. Um, he can just get a bit too excited sometimes. And you have been known to bronk in the past. But Duncan's one of them. I don't think I've even said he is. 16-2. He's a Irish sports horse with warm blood in him. And... What is there more to say? He's a he's done, but in winter he goes this horrible, like musky grey. He looks like a proper old grandpa, don't you don't? You do. We always call him the grandpa because he's so moody. You're horrible to other horses, aren't you? Evil. He's actually evil. Aren't you? And he only loves us when we've got food. <laughs> I'm not really selling you, am I, Duncan? But yeah, that's Duncan. He's currently competing at like B80. Oh, my mum wants me to do Duncan, his first 90 on him next season. Duncan, do you know if you do that once more? Um, his first 90 on him next season to get him going. Um, so you may see a couple of vlogs of Duncan in, but yeah, do you see Duncan around? That's Duncan. <laughs> You're trying to reach the camera. The camera's not got treats. Oh, I've got the treats. Do you go and see the girls, because you two aren't the, you won't be featuring the most, you two won't. It's the girls that are the real, features of the show of the whole channel so i'm going to go and see the girls haven't i you've really hurt my finger oh right over to the girls we go right so i'm now here with phoenix i apologize if it's a bit darker i've had to come right in the stable to try and avoid the wind can you smell treats Fee? can you smell treats I say, she won't be bothering me for any other reason because she's not the most affectionate horse Anyway, this is Phoenix, if you can't tell, she's chestnut, she's about 16.3 on you. You're also, I don't know if you're a Irish sports horse or just a thoroughbred cross. I can't remember, um, I'd have to look at her passport. But she, if she, she's definitely got thoroughbred in her anyway. And she's very much took the thoroughbred side with her feet. She's very flat footed. Um, but anyway, Phoenix, if anything, is like my top horse um my top like eventer my personal top eventer she events don't you um i've only had her actually two years i believe i think i got her it'll be two years in february i got her not last february the february before so two years in february it'll be that's it um i actually bought we well we bought her off my instructor so um we kind of knew her a bit before and we kind of made a deal that we'd keep her for life, hence you are also a keeper for life, aren't you? Although we've got quite a few keepers for life, so I don't know how this is going. Anyway, Phoenix, I won't turn that way because you can't see a thing. Um, she events to novice level currently, slash two star, um, but we haven't really had a full season out of her. As I said before, she's got very flat feet because um, she's took the thoroughbred side in that sense very often I get kisses off you. That's it. So she can be a little bit on and off with her work. We always manage to keep her going in winter obviously because the ground's softer and stuff. Um, and then through summer she just... You're very on and off which is not good being an eventer. So that is why her vlogs, her event vlogs kind of come and go a little bit. Phoenix, what's this? Um, and she is actually a girl. I feel like Phoenix is actually a boy's name, but you're very much a girl, aren't you? Her show name is Fire of Independence, which I, I like. I think that's a very cool show name, don't we? Yes, and my aims of her is to get her up to intermediate next season, um, do a couple of them, 
make sure we're very confident at novice at the start of next season he's just such a grump she's putting her ears back at me now you bipolar yeah i think so um but yeah you're a princess aren't you she's been i'd say she's been very not spoiled but i don't know you're very much a princess aren't you she loves being treated the absolute best don't you yes my finger is actually numb from Robbie biting it um should we move on to Kira and then once I've done you can have some feed you can hey that's what you want isn't it yeah, she's walked off she's had enough your legs are looking a bit swollen don't they? she has to have like magnetic boots on at night and whatever else don't you she gets quite filled back legs um you're having a poo right I'll leave her to it that's Phoenix I think that's everything you need to know about Phoenix. If you've got any questions or anything that I've forgotten to say, just ask me in the comments or on my Instagram or whatever. My Instagram's Tara Brown Eventing, so go and give it a follow so you stay updated with all my Vlogmas videos and also get involved with some of them. Um, quite a few. I will need your questions or answers for, so go and follow my Instagram so you can so you can get involved with all that. But yeah, shall I move on to Kira? I think you've had enough of me. You don't like attention. Right, so I'm now in the barn and I'm actually with Miss Knightley, which is Kira, naughty Kira. Now, <laughs> let's ignore the fact, let's turn this way as well, that her face is half clipped and half not. My clippers broke on me halfway through clipping her. So she's got one side which is fully clipped, the other side which is half clipped, and she's looking a bit of a mess, aren't you, Kira? But we're not going anywhere anytime soon. Well, I say that. You probably are the one that will be going somewhere. But anyway, she's looking a bit of a mess. But this is Kira. Kira is also known as the problem pony, aren't you? We call her Miss Knightley. Um, I've had her four years. If you follow my Instagram, you will have seen. Got her kind of end of November time. Four years this year. Now, her show name is High Glen Kira, which I've never really liked. But that's your show name, isn't it? She's a Welsh D cross. Oh, I'm still getting wind in here. She's a Welsh D cross with a thoroughbred. And yeah we've not really got very far have we not really so i tried to event her for about three years tried a little bit last seen as season as well um we weren't the most successful she just has an attitude problem really um she doesn't like the well it's not that she doesn't like it if she's going then she's going and she loves it but sometimes she will just completely say no to cross country. Uh, I don't know if I've got the videos, but this season especially, she completely said no. Now, we've really discovered the back end of the season that if you overdo it with her, then she just goes sour. So we've been out competing a lot less and she has been so much better. Her show jumping, she's had like much better results. You've come on loads, haven't you? Um, but yeah, she's always been a problem because she's got such an attitude haven't you if it doesn't go Kira's way then we know about it um she has to have a special head collar on because as soon as I don't put that head collar on she knows and she just takes off and either drags me or leaves me wherever we are a bit dangerous when we're loading and stuff or leading her over the road with my setup they have to be going over the road regularly um so we do have to make sure she's got a special head collar on and stuff now she's not that bad to ride in the sense of being naughty. She's not really one to um, go over the top rearing and booking and everything, are you? Um, she can be a bit nappy and she's very spooky, but riding wise, are you tired? You're the only one that's been ridden today. Um, she isn't too bad. She's very talented, if you, you'll probably realize. Um, jumping and she's got nice paces, haven't you? Which is why we'd love to event you because you would make a really nice eventer um but yeah the plan with her is to do bs and maybe bd this season try and get some good results at bs she's really yawning um yeah you've got the tension because you've got treats in your pocket i know you have you just gave me one um try and get some good results that's really bad lighting 
and get her going with that and then next season mainly for fun to kind of see how it goes see how far we can push her do some more b next year now we're only going to take her to local ones because um if we start paying loads of money and spending loads of time taking her and stuff then it just puts a bad mood on it all because we're like oh, we've wasted a whole day and all that money for her to go and mess it up again what are you doing <laughs> you freak um yeah so next season i'm gonna go and try and do some bu100s again see how it goes not overdo her at all because we don't want her going sour which we found is a bit of an issue <laughs> she knows i've got trees and stop sniffing me um Kira. <laughs> kisses give me a kiss um but yeah that's kira I'm sorry if you're getting a lot of background noise from the barn. The back wall just rattles. It is very windy, if you can't tell. Um, but yeah, I'll take you to go and see Pix. So, here we have Pixie. Now, Pixie is a four-year-old, are you? She's also an Irish sports horse. And we've only had her, actually, since May. Um, we got her from Fourfield Sport Horses. She's actually really lovely to me. Um, it literally is down the road. Took a bandage off and left it in a stable. Right, let's get rid of that. What have you been doing, Pit? Um, okay, so she is my best girly, aren't you? Well, she's not. You are, but you, I don't know. Don't really try and have favourites, but I. We've really bonded, haven't we? She's the first mare I've had. Now, I'm not saying I don't love Kira and Felix. Anyone that knows me will know that Kira is my, like, horse of a lifetime. I love Felix to pieces for everything she does. And obviously, she's the one that's took me up to novice, hopefully intermediate, um, and has done it all. So, don't get me wrong, I love them all. But she's the only mare I've had that really loves you back. Now, you're not really proving it right now, but usually she's so cuddly. Um, the first one to come and see me in the field. She's so like affectionate, aren't you? And she just loves attention, like all my others. They get attention and they get to a point where they're like, all right, I've had enough. But Pixie would just stand and have attention all day. And she's just like, with her work and everything, she's proving to be so sweet. You're such a sweet girl. She's currently in her pyjamas. Pixie has had a proper pyjama day, haven't you, today? It is horrible. With these barns being quite open as well, they have to be like fully rugged, fully covered. Sorry about the wind noises. The wind's really bad, you two, isn't it? Really bad. Not nice at all. Um, but yeah, the plan originally with Pixie was that She'll stay a lot longer than Robbie will, but she'll probably be sold at some point. But I am just falling in love with her more and more all the time. And my mum agrees as well. Like, we're not sure if we're ever going to be able to tell her, sell her. So that's like four keepers now. This is it's getting a bit ridiculous. Um, but yeah, she is only four, so we can't say too much. But she is proving to be a really lovely lady. Um, Amy's with her over this winter get her out do her first ever competition on her get her doing some show jumping some dressage go and have some fun um and then next season maybe go and do some unaffiliated eventing obviously not loads she'll only be five um but just welcome her to the world of eventing maybe do a be 80 right at the end of next season we will see how it goes but no rush we don't want to ruin her at all and she is such a sweet lady, aren't you? She's so sweet. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything you need to know. I feel like I have been quite brief, but I have said everything I wanted to, I hope. Um, can we not eat the straw? We've suddenly both started eating straw. No, no, no. Straw isn't good for you. You'll be on shavings in a barn, which isn't the most reasonable, really, is it? Um, Eat your straw. Kira, you've never done it before. Gosh. Oh, this video is just horrible. There's so much wind. And, oh, I don't mean the video is horrible, but today is just been horrible in general. Um, but yeah, 
going to leave it here. Also, before I quickly say, answer a couple of questions about Vlogmas. It is going to be every day. Um, the only slight issue that could happen is storage running out and stuff, which can actually be quite a big issue. Um, but that's up to me to get the videos filmed, edited, and uploaded um, quite quickly. So I'm having a quick turnaround, so I haven't got too many videos on my phone at once, basically. And then also, for I quickly say, the videos will be uploaded at five o'clock during the week, so Monday to Friday, and then I'm thinking four o'clock for weekends, and then obviously more like Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, I'll probably do four o'clock as well. Um, just because a bit earlier, why not? Um, Pixie's currently sniffing. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to say. So thank you for watching. I hope you've learned a bit more about the horses and everything. Say pics. Um, I hope it's been somewhat helpful. And yeah, I will see you on Wednesday for the beginning of Vlogmas. So get subscribed, get the notifications on, please like, comment, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.